Thank you all. Wednesday, 3 p.m., uh, getting near the end of Dreamforce. Is everyone having a really good time at Dreamforce? I'm hoping there's still energy in this room. Go get a coffee first if you need it. We've got an amazing quip keynote for all of you. And I just wanted to start off by saying how amazing it is to be at Dreamforce. Last year at this time, Quip had just been acquired about a month before Dreamforce, and it was completely overwhelming to meet this community for the full, first time. We always like to say that Dreamforce is like a family reunion, and this year it truly feels like a homecoming for all of us. As a technology maker, it is just such a privilege to not only be able to work on a product that can transform all of your companies, to be, to be a part of a real community. It's so unique to uh, Salesforce, it's so unique to Dreamforce. I want to start off by just saying thank you to this amazing community. Thank you for welcoming us into it with open arms. It just means the world to us. Are there any MVPs in the room? Any users of Quip, I just want to say thank you so much. There's some hands raised. I just want to say thank you for sending us feedback every single day on Twitter. You truly change the shape of our product, and we genuinely appreciate it. I also want to say thank you to all the amazing new customers we met this year. Customers like Diageo and Amazon and 21st Century Fox, they inspire us by showing us that every company, no matter what shape and what size, no matter what age, can truly transform their culture. Thank you for coming to this keynote. I promise it will be entertaining and informative, and hopefully all of you will try out Quip at the end. So I want to start by talking about the theme of this year's Dreamforce, which is the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is a confluence of technologies like artificial intelligence, human computer interfaces, automation, self-driving cars, this confluence of technologies that's completely transforming every industry in the world. But perhaps more importantly than that, it's actually transforming each of our jobs individually. It's hard to overstate the impact that the fourth industrial revolution is having on society. This stat on the screen is completely mind-blowing. According to Capgemini Consulting, over 52% of the companies that were in the Fortune 500 in the year 2000 no longer exist. They've been acquired, they've gone out of business, and these aren't small brands. These are brands like Blockbuster, Sun Microsystems, brands that at one point defined their industries, but they couldn't keep pace with the pace of change around them, so they no longer exist. But here's the interesting thing about this study. It's not that these companies didn't know that these changes were happening. They were written about in every newspaper article for a decade. It's that they couldn't make decisions fast enough. Their decision cycles lagged technology cycles. They had created cultures of bureaucracies, and they had disabled collaboration within their teams so they couldn't make decisions fast enough. And for us at Quip, this is really what it means to be a trailblazer. All of you embrace the spirit of lifelong learning. You know that the skills you have today won't be the skills that you need tomorrow to be successful, and that's why you embrace skills like Trailhead. You drive decisions with your team, even if they're uncomfortable or disruptive, because you know successful companies in the fourth industrial revolution have to keep pace with their customers changing. And more than anything, you're the ones transforming your company's cultures. You know that the companies that are going to be successful in this fourth industrial revolution are the companies that have cultures that embrace change and make decisions quickly. And this is fundamentally what we tried to build with Quip. Quip is a collaboration tool that can be an agent of cultural change to enable you to transform away from the culture of email and meetings that prevents all of us from making decisions quickly so your company can be successful. A lot of this theme of cultural change is really near and dear to my heart personally. I started my career on Google Maps, and I eventually became the chief technology officer of Facebook, and I arrived at that company at such an interesting time for the industry. You know, the iPhone launched in 2007, and by 2009, Android was just taking over the world. Uh, just to just put it in perspective, in some parts of the world, like sub-Saharan Africa, over 98% of the people who use Facebook had never even seen it on a PC before. You know, if you walk around all the booths around here, you'll hear a lot of people talk about being mobile first. Facebook users were truly mobile only. And just like all the companies I mentioned, we knew this was happening. We saw it in our dashboards every single day. 
but our culture wasn't keeping pace with our customers. You know, we're computer geeks. We were paid to spend all day on our laptops. We know how to make web pages, not mobile apps. Our customers were changing faster than we were. So we decided as a management team to lead by example. And what that meant is we got rid of our laptops. We only used our phones. We started a university to retrain engineers in mobile technologies. And it was uncomfortable, and it was hard, and it was disruptive, but we changed our culture. And because we changed our culture, we were able to change our product, and we were able to come out the other side. Cultural change is necessary in the fourth industrial revolution, and Quip can be a tool to help you enable it. This experience also plays into where my co-founder Kevin Gibbs and I got the idea for Quip in the first place. You know, we come from the consumer technology world and we participated in this app revolution, this mobile revolution that completely transformed all the consumer technologies that we use. I've got a supercomputer of apps in my pocket. It's completely changed the way I interact with my friends and family. When we left though, and we looked behind at all the tools we have at work, to get to collaborate, it looked a lot more like this. Somehow, in the age of Alexa and artificial intelligence and apps and all these amazing technologies you're seeing around Dreamforce, this is the state of the art. <laughs> this is the state of the art in collaboration. Are you kidding me? You know, when we were talking to customers, it was crazy. The story I heard over and over and over again is, I spend so much time in meetings and I spend so much time in my email inbox, I do my job in my spare time. I go home to do my job. I see a lot of nodding out there. This is depressing, you guys. Like, this should not be. We should all be ashamed that this is as far as technology has come. You know, so we left thinking, we want to figure out what does productivity look like in the age of artificial intelligence and mobility and all these amazing technologies. And after talking to our customers, we realized that does, really has nothing to do with Microsoft Office. That's a legacy application. We had to find a better way to collaborate than email. And that's what we've tried to build with Quip. Quip transforms the way teams work together by putting communication at the center of productivity. In really simple terms, this means it should be as easy to comment on a cell in a spreadsheet as it is to comment on a photo in Facebook. Quip combines all the tools you're already familiar with. It's totally simple, like documents and spreadsheets and task lists, but it integrates it with this super cool and super powerful communication engine so you can communicate and write in the same place. With Quip, there's no dealing with proposal version two, final, final, final. I hope this is the last final version of proposal two because everyone sees the same version of the same document at the same time. And you don't set up a meeting to figure out the numbers are up to date. You just comment on that spreadsheet cell, and whoever wrote it will get a push notification in their pocket right away, and they'll fix it right away. You eliminated a meeting. Quip is truly a tool that enables team to move away from email and meetings, and it actually works. We measure the impact of Quip when we deploy it at our customers, and the results are consistent, and they're pretty dang amazing. When teams adopt Quip, they send 43% less email. They have 38% fewer meetings, and within the same company, the projects that run on Quip complete 37% faster. Apples to apples within the same company. And the coolest part about these statistics, this really represents cultural change, right? But when we survey these teams, how well do you communicate with your team members? How do you feel that you communicate with your team? The results get 50% better after we deploy Quip. What this really means is better decisions. It means that people are away from their laptops and away from that horrible unread count on their mail inbox, on their phone, and they're actually talking to customers. They're actually making decisions across departments, across companies, across partners. One of my favorite examples of this is David Tinson from Electronic Arts. So Electronic Arts, like so many of our companies, has been dramatically impacted by social media. There's a service called Twitch that has completely transformed the gaming industry. And the way you should think about it is their gamers are actually driving the narrative for their games. This is really what social media means. And the age of social media and the age of all this change, to be a successful communications department means you need to participate in that narrative. But EA had a very traditional communications department. And David taught us so much because he was one of the first customers who came to us, not with a technology problem, but with a cultural problem. He said, I want to make our communications team as fast as social media, and I think Quip's the tool to implement that cultural change. 
So he put everyone in his department in a single shared space in Quip, instituted a culture of transparency, and every email and a meeting-based process in his department went into Quip. It went down from days or weeks down to minutes and hours. He completely transformed the culture of his department. It was so successful that there's now thousands of people at Electronic Arts using Quip. Every conference, every product launch, every form of communications is planned in Quip. Another great example is 21st Century Fox. You'll be hearing a lot more about this amazing company today. But I want to talk about it here because this is an industry that is being impacted by the fourth industrial revolution almost more than any other. From streaming services to smartphones, every aspect of the media industry is changing. Production, distribution, business models. James Murdoch, Paul Cheesebro, and the team that you'll meet here knew that it wasn't a tactical thing to make their teams more productive. If they want to survive the next 40 years and continue to drive the stories and ideas that we all love, they needed to have a culture that embraces fast decision making and change. They've deployed Quip across all 25,000 employees. 21st Century Fox truly runs on Quip. And of course, there's Facebook, a company near and dear to my heart. This is a really interesting story because we were actually brought into Facebook by the Instagram team. And they had a very unique collaboration problem. They were creating their first advertising product. And they needed to collaborate between the engineering team making the advertising product, their sales team, and the external agencies and advertisers. They were creating this entirely new type of advertisement. These were three groups that never really talked to each other before. They used Quip to create that unique collaboration, and it was so successful that it really took the company by storm. All 30,000 employees of Facebook use Quip every single week. Facebook truly runs on Quip. 10,000 trailblazing customers have chosen to adopt Quip because it enables them to have an agent of cultural change. It's across every industry from consumer packaged goods to manufacturing to retail to technology and finance. Any company of any size, any team can use Quip to transform their culture away from email and meetings and fundamentally make decisions faster. But the fun part about Dreamforce is it isn't just what, about what Quip did before, but about all the new things that we came here to announce. And I'm super excited because at Dreamforce this week, we're probably announcing the biggest change to Quip since we launched. We're taking the product in a direction I don't think I've seen any product in this category go before. I'm really excited to talk to you about that right now. We like to say that Quip gives you superpowers. What that means is Quip documents aren't typeset words on a page. They're living, breathing project management apps that you can make with clicks not code to transform any process at your company. We've talked to all these amazing customers, though. They gave us a lot of feedback. They love the fact that there's only one version of every document that everyone sees. They love the integrated chat. They love that it's available in their pocket. And of course, they love that it's built on the Salesforce platform. But the feedback we've gotten over and over again is, I don't want my collaboration tool to be a silo. I've implemented hundreds of SaaS applications at my company, and to do my job, I have to have about 10 or 20 tabs open at the same time. The perfect collaboration tool for me would bring all these things together. And that's what we're very excited to announce here at Dreamforce, the next generation of the Quip platform with a technology we call Live Apps. With Live Apps, you can pull every service you use at your company together on a single page and collaborate on them in one place. Rather than copying and pasting data from your data warehouse into a spreadsheet to collaborate on it, you can bring a live updating graph from that data warehouse directly into your Quip document and comment on it. Rather than talking about your marketing schedule, you can put a calendar directly in your marketing plan that anyone can edit and collaborate on from any device. This is truly transformative and truly the first tool of its kind. With live apps, you can collaborate on every service at your company, and it's built on the power of the app exchange. It comes batteries included with so many different applications. And truly, Quip is a platform that is now extensible and customizable, so you can make it fit the specific needs of your company. It's completely changed the face of the product, and we are so excited about it. With live apps, you can say goodbye to SharePoint. With our a partnership with Google, you can embed a Google Drive right in a document, right with your sales enablement materials. It's a perfect sales enablement portal. If you're an account executive and you want to collaborate with your boss or your colleague about how to close an opportunity, 
You can embed that opportunity right in a Quip document and close it out right in the Quip document. This went from three tabs open to one tab open. And if you're an engineer like me, you can run your Scrum team right from a Quip document. Combine that Kanban board with that JIRA issue that you're discussing. You can discuss and comment and close out that issue all in one place. It's an extremely powerful platform built on the App Exchange, and it's customizable to the needs of your business. And to tell you a little bit more about this incredible new platform, I'd love to introduce my co-founder and the Chief Technology Officer of Quip to the stage, Kevin Gibbs. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Kevin. I'm gonna let you have the stage, but um, we're showing a lot of demos today. We're gonna show a lot of videos. Um, for everyone here who wants to see it in practice, where at Dreamforce can they play with this? Actually use a mouse or a phone and actually see Quip in action. That's a great question. So everything you're seeing here, you can go try at home right now. Just open up your laptop, install Quip, give it a try. But you can also go right outside of this conference room and try it in Quip Springs or in the Dev Forest on the first floor. That sounds great. Quip Springs right outside the door, don't leave yet. But when you leave, it's right there. You can try out everything you saw right here. So Kevin, Great. really looking forward to this. Thanks, Brett. So you know, this launch, what we've been doing this week, and really this whole year, has been a labor of love. Honestly, I could not be more proud of the engineering team and what they've built. Because the journey that we've gone through over the course of the past year has been taking Quip, a product for collaboration, and turning it into a platform for collaboration. A platform that brings everything you work with every day as a customer, everything you work with inside of your business, and puts it inside so that you can communicate on a single page and do all of your work together in one place. But what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you a little bit more. You know, some of what we've built, some of what we've launched to you this week, with the live apps, are about communicating on the inside Doing the stuff that Quip has already done really well, adding things that allow you to collaborate and work on content together. That includes things like a Kanban board, which is a type of sticky notes that you can use to manage your team's scrum process or prioritize work. But it also includes things like a calendar, which is a great way to schedule upcoming events and see what's going on, and you can embed that right in the middle of the rest of your work. It includes some other fun stuff, too, though, like a poll. So you can ask around in your team which copy you think they should use in the marketing email this week, or see who had the best pun at lunchtime. Still, though, all of that is about building up among Quip's work inside of the product. The stuff that I'm really excited about is the stuff that tries to pull the outside world, where you spend the rest of your time, into Quip. And so that's why I'm really proud to announce that this week we are also launching live apps for Salesforce Sales Cloud, Salesforce Service Cloud, and Jira, Atlassian's incredibly popular tool for issue management. With these live apps, you can not only view, but edit your data directly inside of your Quip documents. You don't have to switch to another tab. You don't have to switch to another app. Everything that you're doing for your project is on one page. Everyone is working together. But really, that's just the beginning. Because I'm also incredibly proud to announce that we have over 20 partners that have already built live apps on our platform. These live apps are amazing. You can try them right outside of this conference hall. The live apps take these same apps that we've talked about and bring them inside of it so your outside world is within Quip. But what do I mean by that? I mean that you can take a flow chart that you've made in Lucidchart and embed it directly inside of Quip and have it update in real time. I mean that you can actually view and edit a drawing from within a Quip document. You can take a circuit diagram and change that from inside of a Quip document using draw.io. I mean that you can actually take a mock-up that your design team has been working on, insert it into a Quip document, and start collaborating immediately. That's some of the power of what's going on here. But I want to emphasize another point. These are not static images. This is not just text that's been copied and pasted inside of a Quip document. These are live, interactive applications where you can actually get work done. And that's what I think is so amazing about it. That's why I don't think anyone has done something like this before. 
and it's something that I think is really gonna change the way that we work together so that you don't need to have to go into a meeting and have a browser with eight tabs open where you're flipping between each one to try to get your point across. You can put that into a single document, cut out some meetings, cut out some email, and actually help people connect better. That's really how we hope to change your culture. But let me give you a couple of examples. I want to show you a couple of these amazing partner apps. One of them is Altify. Altify is the number one sales augmentation platform. Altify lets you map out the relationships inside of your customers. You can see who might be a supporter or detractor of your next big opportunity in order to close that sale. But with Altify's live app, you can actually do this inside of a Quip document. You can make a document about the strategy for an upcoming opportunity, show all the people, drag them around, map them, and put a calendar next to it, put a checklist next to it, and actually start getting work done from within the product. Another example is New Relic, which makes the number one digital intelligence platform, one that so many companies, including Quip, depend upon for their data and metrics. The New Relic Live app, you can actually use this data inside of Quip in real time. You can see how your campaigns, say a Black Friday campaign you might have coming up, you can see that change inside of a Quip document bring everyone from sales and engineering and marketing together. And if you see an anomaly in the data, you see a spike that you don't think should be there, you can just click on it, add a comment, and get the conversation going about what's happening. So really, all of this is actually about building an ecosystem. It's about building this platform where we can bring in everything that's in your world, everything that your customers do, everything that your company does, and bring it inside of Quip so that you can finally get work done faster, that you can finally get a cultural change where you're not spending all of your time in email and spending all of your time in meetings. It's the power of what we're doing. But that said, my day job is a CTO of Quit. And right now, this has been a little bit abstract. I'd love to talk to you with a little bit more in detail what we've actually built on the platform, how the platform works. I think the easiest way to understand the platform is that what we've done is we've taken Quip we sort of turned it inside out. We've taken the features that we've built over the past five years, and we've made all of them available to you, to your applications, so that you can take whatever you have and add the things that make Quip so great to your app. But what do I mean by that? I mean things like real-time co-authoring. With a single line of JavaScript, you can add to your application the ability to have text that people can comment and collaborate on and work together on in real time. We do the heavy lifting for you. You don't have to have a PhD in computer science to figure out how to do this. Just add the code, and you have that ability in your app. Another example of what you can do with the platform is that everything that you build on the Live Apps platform is automatically mobile. It runs natively on our iOS app and our Android app. But it also works with flaky internet connections. It works offline, something that we've worked really hard to develop. And that means that when you develop the Live Apps platform, your apps keep working. You can keep dragging those Kanban cards as your flight crosses the Pacific and you lose internet access. But maybe the most interesting part of the API, in my opinion, is that it makes your apps more social. We're giving you the app mentions, the commenting, the liking, Everything that we've done in Quip, really the magic that we built in Quip to make it engaging, to make it fun, you can add all of that to your app. You get it for free. And it's doing all of that together, I think, that really makes this platform interesting, helps you to create more engaging experience for your customer and a more engaging experience within your company. All of that said, um, not just as trailblazers, but as cultural trailblazers. They're, they're the businesses that know, you know, no matter how old your company is, no matter how many processes have been in place for decades or years, you are enabled. With a tool like Quip, you can transform your team away from the way they do things towards a better way of doing things, to bring all these tools together into one place and really make decisions faster. For me, this is why we work on this product and why it's so exciting to partner with all of you to enable you to change your company's cultures. And the best part about Quip is you can start using it right now. 
You can open your phone and go to the app store. And if you go to quip.com slash df17, you can get five seats free immediately, forever. We want you to try it out. Don't take our word for it. Try it out with your team. Try it out with your company. And I promise you, you will be inspired. And we would love to get your feedback. It would be such a privilege to work with all of you and your companies. Before I end, though, do we have any Weezer fans in the room? Yeah? How many people in the room would like free Weezer tickets? Is that really all? Seriously? Can I get a... How many people in the room would like free Weezer tickets? Yeah. Unfortunately, only five of you are gonna get free Weezer tickets. So, yeah, that's how we roll, we're cheap. Yeah, um, so, but under five of your chairs, there is a pair of tickets to go to the concert and meet the band. So if you look under your chairs. Oh, good. So now that this room is descending into chaos, I just want to say thank you for coming to the Quip keynote. Thank you for trying out Quip. It's been so great to spend this time with you. Thank you very much. You know, Salesforce has changed my life. I wrote a blog post about this a few years ago that I was never expecting to go, I guess, viral, but it did. And the blog post is titled, the best thing I built on Salesforce, my career. And it's true. I was an at home mom. I thought I was going to be the world's best pediatric surgeon. I went to school for business. I was not in this industry a couple of years ago. I went to school to be a lawyer. I was a cosmetologist and a hairdresser. If you would have asked me 15 years ago if I would have a career in technology, I would have told you you were crazy. You know, and it's not easy to put yourself out there. I think about what is it that makes you excited and happy and passionate. What is it that I really love? What, why do I like doing this stuff? Maybe your passion is veterans, and your passion might be retail, or if you're in banking, you can really take what you learn in Salesforce and you can apply it to any industry. That was an eye-opener for me. This is a huge universe. I can actually start to dream about what I want to do. The power of the Salesforce platform allows you to do so many things. You can do so much with it. I'm flying with Einstein! Woohoo! The sky is the limit. The limit is your imagination. We're going to bring our customer a level of service that is extraordinary. That's what it's all about. It's all about the customer. I can now talk to case study example after case study example of where, with Salesforce, we've been able to pull this off. That's exciting. That's where it's been life-changing. I never thought I had the ability to do that, and I think Salesforce has not only given me technical skills, it's given me confidence in myself to know that I can achieve these things. Being a trailblazer is coming out first and clearing the path for others. It's being the voice of the customer. You're giving them something that they're looking for. And you're always making sure that the best technology is at their fingertips. These tools actually push me to figure out what the best is every day. All of that is not possible without an incredible tool like Trailhead. The best thing about Salesforce and the smartest thing they've ever done is the community. It is phenomenal. The Trailhead community it just takes you wherever you need to go. I somehow found the user group and I went in there and I was actually hoping to pay somebody to help me and all these people helped me for free. I will never ever forget that feeling and I remember that experience and I try to recreate that for other people. It's an amazing example of what an ecosystem can really do when it bands together and focuses on how we can all make each other better. Where you can not only be proud of the work that you're doing, but the people you're doing it with. That's the magic of Salesforce. It's changed my life. It really has, and it's changed my company and the customers that I work with. When your customers are happy, your company's striving, and when your company's striving, you're truly at your best. You're at the top of your game. This is what I was meant to do my whole life. Being your best is not only having a great career, but it's enabling others to have a great career. And I think that makes me my best. <laughs>